everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing something a little different i don't really think i really touched base on this much on my channel i know i brought it up on my sister's channel but i do doordash part-time so um to make money i just do doordash doordash is kind of similar to uber eats and postmates but a little bit different so i'm gonna like um vlog going to get the food how to get the food how do i get paid things like that how do i pay for the order things like that so um yeah the background that's my brother um and shaylin's right here um you can have people in the car when you do doordash it's not that serious because you're just going in paying for the order and coming back out so i want to talk about the app a little bit so when you first log in I'm gonna have it like on the side too, like a screen recording. But when you first log in, you see like a map, and on the map is gonna be different regions. If you click schedule, then all these open slots will show. So it works on a slot system. So Shayla could pick up, um, Shayla could pick up a shift, and it's gonna go away. It won't be available for me. So like Alpharetta, Buckhead, Gainesville, Griffin, stuff like that, they're open today. And so it has this time to this time on it. So then on the next one, it's gonna say account. That's where your name will be, your phone number, email. On the top, it'll say profile vehicle settings. But DoorDash never asks you about your, what kind of car you have and all of that. That's the difference between DoorDash and Uber Eats. They never ask for your car information. They never ask about your insurance. They never ask about any of that. So you just sign up and you just go. And so uh, if you go to settings, you can pick what kind of map you want. Some people use Waze so that they can see when the cops are like up there or whatever, but I don't really need that. So I just use Apple Maps and there's a link up there you can refer your friend if you refer your friend if they do 200 depending on what city you are is the bonus you get some for atlanta sometimes it's 750 sometimes it's 500 it just depends on what time of the year it is and what the peak is and depending on you know whenever you send that link to that next person. one is going to have your ratings on there so it's going to have your customer rating your acceptance rate completion rate on time or early rate and then how many deliveries you've done ever so with mine i'm like in the high hundreds so uh, i'm starting to get orders like from walmart grocery and stuff like that um uh, and then if you click earnings that's where you'll see all the pay that you ever got on the top it'll say current week and then it'll say balance your balance is how much you've made um uh, how much you're able to cash out on the green is how much you've made completely that week so let's say i cash out today and let's say i make 50 dollars today i can cash out the 50 dollars. but where it says current week it's going to keep adding up the entire week so i can see for real how i made that whole week and yeah that's basically how it works you can once you've done 25 deliveries you can have um fast pay and so with fast pay you can get paid every day but you have to have done 25 deliveries in order to do so. Okay, so as y'all can see, here's my little blue dot. So I'm scheduled to work from 12.30 to 1.30 in Sandy Springs today. But you can, you can go available 15 minutes before. So by, right now it's 12.23, so I can go available now. So I would click dash now. It's gonna say, make sure you're ready to dash, charge phone, enough gas, red card. Your red card is the this little prepaid card that they give you, because some restaurants don't do it through the app. You have to go in and actually pay for their order. And so, I'll just tap on this. Then you have the hot bag, which keeps the food hot or cold. And so you click start. Then it's gonna zoom you in. Right now, the hot spot for Atlanta, where I am right now, is right here at Chipotle. I'm gonna stay right here then. It doesn't really matter if you go to the hotspot or not, but some people like to go to the hotspot because they feel like it brings them more orders. You can make your own hotspot, like right now I just got an order. So it gives you 85 seconds to decide whether you want the order or not. It tells you the restaurant is one item and this is a $5 order. So I'm gonna accept, I accept all my orders. So we're going to the Cheesecake Factory in Perimeter Mall how to get your order the fastest this is usually where you have the um information at right here 
on how to pick up the order the customer's name and what they're ordering is right there so she's getting the lunch shrimp pasta but all i need to know is the person's name so i would go inside the cheesecake factory say the person's name and yeah then they would give me the order so you if you need you can click directions but because i know where i am i'm just gonna it's literally over there in the parking lot so if i would have went to chipotle i would have made a giant circle to come back and that's what i mean you need to make your own hot spots because i know that during this time everyone wants cheesecake factory and all the dashers out here decline the cheesecake factory out here so it's going to come to me because i always accept all of my orders nobody likes to deliver a cheesecake factory because they're very slow customer service like this it's probably the worst customer service restaurant that i have to deal with with doordash other than what are the restaurants i hop i hop i hop is horrible with doordash All right guys, so I'm just now getting out of Cheesecake Factory. When I walked in, because I'm vlogging, I can go back and check the time I actually walked in there. So I walked in there at 12.28, it's now 12.45. And so that is what I mean when I say Cheesecake Factory has the worst customer service. They don't acknowledge you, they just let you just stand there. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm waiting for a order from DoorDash and she's like, oh, well, what's the name? What do you mean? Oh, do you not see me just standing in the kitchen? Like, I don't understand. This way. And so now I'm on the way to the customer's house. It's only three minutes away, so it's not that bad. Hi, this is Serena with DoorDash. Hi. I'm outside. Are you outside? Yes, I'm outside building 66. Okay, here I come. Okay. Now I just got a, another order for Chick-fil-A. We happen to be sitting right outside Chick-fil-A. This says five orders, I mean five items on it. A cookie and cream milkshake, two chicken nugget meals, two large fries, and a chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna go in there, it says, please go. Now look, this one says, please go into the Chick-fil-A and go straight to the mobile pickup counter. Do not wait in line till a team member your order the order you're picking up please bring your hot bag in the store the only thing that's true about this is bringing the hot bag in the store because when you go in there if you stand at the mobile pickup they're never gonna make your order they'll see you stand there never ask you so then they're gonna say oh you have to wait in line and tell us what order you're picking up guys so i did two dashes in one hour i made ten dollars and 66 cents now i know you're like what you just wasted so much time just to make ten dollars but if you think about it ten dollars and 66 cents one hour it's basically what they're trying to pay us in georgia anyway <laughs> it's more than minimum wage um usually i do more than one hour i sometimes i feel like one hour is a waste of my time um i like to get like a big block like two hours three hours even sometimes four hours like eight to twelve i'll do and that'll be a good check especially in like the dunwoody sandy springs type region right here but that's pretty much just a summary of how doordash works any other questions or concerns y'all have y'all can leave it in the bio and i mean in the in the bio in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel whatever else you all would like to see just let me know all right bye guys